In the pastoral constitution on the church in the modern world, the fathers of the Second Vatican Council addressed the dignity of work by pointing us to the humanity of Jesus in these words. He who is the image of the invisible God is himself the perfect man. To the sons of Adam, he restores the divine likeness which had been disfigured from the first sin onward. Since human nature, as he assumed it, was not annulled, by that very fact, it has been raised up to a divine dignity in our respect to him. For by his incarnation, the Son of God has united himself in some fashion with every man. He worked with human hands. He thought of a human mind, acted by human choice, and loved with a human heart. Born of the Virgin Mary, he has truly been made one of us like us in all things except sin. Beloved Father, through the life, death, and resurrection of your only begotten Son, Jesus the Christ, we have become your adopted sons and daughters. Through baptism, we are now members of his body, the church. Our Savior Jesus taught us that whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. We thank you. That promise includes each one of us. As members of the family of Jesus, we turn to you in prayer. In Jesus, we are joined in a communion of love which is stronger than death, along with the saints, the holy ones. They are the great cloud of witnesses the Bible speaks of. They've gone before us marked with the sign of redemption and they live their lives by faith. They inspire us by their holy lives. They also pray for us from their place in your communion of love. And a special place of honor in that communion is St. Joseph. He said yes to your call to be the chaste husband of Mary, the mother of the Lord, the foster father of Jesus, and the guardian of the Redeemer. A man of few words, Joseph spoke with action and calls us to the way of active faith. The patron of all workers also shows us the dignity of all human work when joined to Jesus. Joseph always said yes to your invitations and grace. He always put Mary and Jesus ahead of himself. And he invites us to do the same in our own daily lives. The carpenter who taught the child Jesus to work with wood in the workshop of Nazareth now shows us that all human work participates in the loving plan of redemption. At 33 years old, Jesus, the carpenter's son, freely embraced the wood of the cross and reconciled us to you and to one another for the sake of the world. Joseph loved Jesus, and Jesus loved Joseph, and that love continues. St. Joseph, you who love Jesus with a genuine fatherly love, we now ask you to pray for us as we follow the way of Jesus in our everyday lives. You understand the challenges of raising a family, earning a living, facing the difficulties of life, and always remaining faithful to God. We now turn to you and we ask for your intercession. By your prayers, obtain for us the special graces we need to be faithful to our own specific vocation and to live our lives in service to Jesus as you did. St. Joseph, today, I specifically ask you, and now here, add your own specific intention. Glory be to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. St. Joseph, the worker, pray for us. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit,
lại đến cùng thanh du xe người sẽ bên vực chợ che lo toan nguyện dâng hết cho người người sẽ an ủi vô về hãy đến cùng du xe sẽ chẳng về tay không ai chuẩn chuyên trong đời ai gánh vác nặng nề ai sầu khổ sớm hôm hãy đến cùng du xe chẳng về tay không bao vô tư trong đời bao gian nan muộn phiền xin dâng trao cho người sẽ chẳng về tay không hãy đến cùng thanh du xe và hãy tin tường cậy trống dâng lên người những nỗi ưu phiền người sẽ an ủi vô về hãy đến cùng du xe sẽ chẳng về tay không chuôn chuyên trong đời ai gánh vác nặng nề ai sầu khổ sớm hôm hãy đến cùng du xe sẽ chẳng về tay không bao vô tư trong đời bao gian nan muộn phiền xin dâng trao cho người chẳng về tay không
chẳng về tay không hãy đến cùng du xe sẽ chẳng về tay không hãy chuẩn chuyên trong đời hãy đánh phát nặng nề ai sầu khổ sớm hò hãy đến cùng du xe sẽ chẳng về tay không trong đời bao gian nan muôn phiền xin dâng trao cho người.